Hi, today is March 29th. Yes, 2018. And while I'm waiting for my previous experiment to the multiplicity test to incubate, and being that this weekend is Easter Sunday, instead of worrying about all these different assignments to do, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with week five. Uh, this is the biochemical testing for microbial identification, carbohydrate fermentation testing. Um, that way I can have the weekend to enjoy with my family. And then starting Monday, I can start the writing portion and complete all my assignments. That way it's less stressful for me. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the S. cervasis um, fermentation first. Um, that way I don't get confused trying to do half here, half there. I'll complete that one all first. Um, and then I can repeat the steps with the other one. That way I can move those aside. Um, so I'm gonna need my nutrient broth with the yeast that I had previously um, collected during like the first um, experiment. So I have that here. I have the Durham um, little test, test tubes. I've already uh, took them out of the alcohol and they're here drying, which are these little tiny ones that are gonna be needed. You need six and they come in this little tiny pack in my lab kit. And then you'll need the carbohydrate fermentation testing came in this little bag and I need all three here. And I have to be careful when pouring these because it appears to me that half of the powder goes into my yeast red broth and then the other half goes into the S. epi red broth. So I gotta make sure to carefully pour. Um, the first thing it says to do is I'm gonna take um, the number one tube um, that I've already pre-labeled, the S. cervasis. I have to sterilize it. So I'm gonna just pass it through the flame to make sure we don't contaminate anything. Okay, and I'm just gonna hold it in my test tube so I don't spill anything. And I'm gonna take the glucose little powder vial, glucose, and pour half of it in there. Trying to be careful so I don't accidentally over pour. So I'm thinking that's about half. I'm gonna close that because I'll use the other half for the S Epi. Um, it says to flame the tip again. I'm gonna put the cap and shake it so that the powder completely dissolves. Then what I'm gonna do is open it again because I wanna maintain the sterility of the vial to take the Durham little vial and I'm gonna drop it straight in there oh okay and I'm just gonna set this down right here 
with my nutrient broth. I'm gonna open it, pass it through the flame. Okay, I'm gonna get a pipette, make sure there's no alcohol in there, shake it off. I'm gonna need four drops of the nutrient broth and I'm gonna put four drops into the, the tube. One, two, three, four. And I'm gonna repeat this step for all the tubes after pouring each powder. So that's gonna take me a little while because I wanna make sure I am sterilizing everything properly and then closing it back and I can close this one now for the glucose for the yeast as cervases. I'll incubate this for 12 hours, come back and ch check if there's any change in color, take my photos and upload it to my assignment sheet, and I'm gonna repeat the same step for the same um, culture that I'm doing, the uh, S cervases, the yeast, and this time it'll be for the uh, fructose powder fructose it looks like some of it is a uh, stuck to the sides okay this is harder than I thought so I'm kind of eyeballing half I'll have to shake that as well. put my little test tube in put four drops into my second tube for the fructose I'm holding the pipette in my hand because I don't want to put it back into the alcohol and contaminate it That would be enough for the next one. That way I don't have to keep this broth in my hand. Um, so now the next one would be the mannitol. So I have it labeled that this is the third tube for the esterases for the yeast one in the red broth. Um, again, sterilizing the tube. Then I'll pour half of this. 
the mannitol. I've spilled too much. And I have to put the cap back on, so I'm going to just pass it through. Shake it so the contents are dissolved. here. Drop my drum hand tube in here. Add my four drops. One, two, three, and four. I'm going to set this aside to trash. Pass it through the flame again. So my S herbaceous red broths are done. I have to incubate for 12 hours. I'll put these in my incubation spot so I can see what happens, if there's any change in color or what the end result will be. I will repeat the exact same steps for my S Epi and my you could see my little small tube inside. Thanks for watching.